Today, I visited the Industry Club of West Japan in Kitakyushu, a stylish house built in 1912. It belonged to a prominent businessman's family. Now, I hear it is registered as an important cultural property. The restaurant here is a unique venue where you can hold various gatherings. Oh, it sounds like it would be a fantastic venue. I can almost feel the Japanese atmosphere from a hundred years ago. Let's take a look around the rest of Kitakyushu. Today, we came to Kitakyushu in search of a place to hold our important meetings. Kitakyushu is a city that flourished as the birthplace of Japan's modern industry. Is that correct? Yes, and to add to that, we have Fukuoka Airport, which is easily accessible from all over the world. Additionally, we have the Kitakyushu Airport. Allow me to introduce Ms. Yuko Suga. She'll be my navigator today. Nice to meet you. I'm Yuko. Here we are at Kokura Station, the center of Kitakyushu City. I hear that Kitakyushu has developed around both the heavy and chemical industries and is still evolving as a manufacturing city, with industries such as robotics, offshore wind power and automobiles. That's right. While acknowledging the city's manufacturing history, you should also know that Kitakyushu was selected as a green growth city in 2011 and as a global model city for the Sustainable Development Goals in 2018. Now, let's take a look at the Kitakyushu International Conference Center. It's located right next to Kokura Station, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Let's ask Ms. Akiyoshi, the person in charge of the facility, to give us more details. Hello, I'm Yumi Akiyoshi from the Kitakyushu International Conference Center. Let me show you around. This hall was designed by the prominent Japanese architect Arata Isozaki and is well known for receiving the Pritzker Architecture Prize, the Nobel Prize of Architecture. Aside from being a beautiful piece of architecture, the main hall has a total floor area of 791 square meters and seats 585 people. It also has a massive 20,000 lumen screen that allows you to clearly see even the smallest chemical formula displayed on the screen. The International Conference Room has a total floor area of 216 square meters and seats 200 people. Equipped with the latest audio-visual devices and a luxurious atmosphere, here you can take any conference to the next level. The event hall has a maximum capacity of 300 people. The extensive atrium space is ideal for post-conference gatherings. The adjoining lounge, with its windows overlooking the ocean, is a great place for participants to relax. We also have six other meeting rooms of various sizes. If you have a conference here, I'm positive that you'd be delighted with the result. Also, the adjacent Mikuni World Stadium, Kitakyushu can host large-scale events of up to 15,000 people. Thank you for introducing us to your fantastic facility. Now, let's visit several places that best demonstrate Kitakyushu as an OECD-designated green growth city. First, let's stop by Kitakyushu Eco Town Center. So this is where you can learn about next generation energy and recycling. That's right. Kitakyushu Eco Town Center is a center for next generation energy, where the visitors can learn about ecology and energy through its various exhibits. In addition, a tour of the recycling plant and an introduction to the next generation energy park are also available. The Next Generation Energy Park aims to address CO2 reduction and energy issues. You can learn about a variety of other next generation energy initiatives, including onshore wind power, offshore wind power, solar power, and biomass renewable energy, all of which local citizens use. 
Now let's take a look at Yaskawa Electric's Robot Village. This two facility was opened at the headquarters of the Yaskawa Electric Corporation, which has been developing industrial robots in Japan and abroad. The facility consists of the Yaskawa Innovation Center, Robot Factory, and the Yaskawa no Mori Greenbelt, where you can truly feel the power of nature. It's so exciting to learn more about these initiatives and technologies coming out of Japan. I hope the world can follow suit. Now, let's take a look at the hotels. This is Miss Fujiwara, who is in charge of the Riga Royal Hotel Kokura. Nice to meet you. I'm Rumi Fujiwara. Let me show you around. Adjacent to the Kitakyushu International Conference Center, our 30-story hotel has 295 guest rooms and is one of Kokura's landmarks. We offer 11 banquet rooms of various sizes to meet the needs of large and small conferences. The Royal Hall, or Main Hall, has a total floor space of 1,235 square meters and a ceiling height of 7 meters and can accommodate up to 1,300 guests. It's wonderful that you're providing so many options to meet the size and needs of our meetings. We look forward to hosting you and your conferences. This is Miss Nakano, who is in charge of the Premier Hotel Mojiko. Pleased to meet you. My name is Suzuka Nakano. The Premier Hotel Mojiko is very close to the harbour and strait, which you can see from the hotel. Located in the most scenic area of Kitakyushu, the Premier Hotel Mojiko has 162 rooms. Our event hall, Spatio, with a maximum capacity of 250 people, can accommodate a variety of gatherings, from international conferences to private celebrations. We also have other small and medium-sized conference rooms, and our staff will do everything possible to make your stay comfortable and memorable. The view from here is breathtaking, so we highly recommend staying here overnight after your conference to fully relax. The following day, you can enjoy a walk around the port. This is a hotel where we can expect a lot of support for our conferences. From here, I'd like to introduce you to some of Kitakyushu's most authentic party venues. The first one is Kakura Castle. It's a beautiful castle. I heard that it's the symbol of the city. That's right. Kokura Castle was built in 1602 and rebuilt again in 1959. The castle tower and square can be used as a banquet venue. How amazing it would be to have an event in such a historic location. The next stop is the Industry Club of West Japan. This is a Western-style house built in 1912. The building is designated as an important cultural property of Japan. It too can be used as a banquet hall. It's a place where you can feel the evolution of Japan's history of westernization while hosting a party. The former Mojimitsui Club, built in 1921, is another retro building that has been designated as an important cultural property of Japan. On the second floor, you can still see the room where Albert Einstein once stayed. The inside of the building is a prestigious restaurant that is available for events. I'm interested in seeing these places and how they've been preserved in Japan. I'm sure that we could have a memorable event here. There are also many recommended pre- and post-conference programs in Kitakyushu. For example, the Kitakyushu Cast Tour. Are you talking about going over to the Cast Plateau? That's right. The tour takes you on a limestone cave exploration of the Cast Plateau in Kokura and Hiraodai, one of Japan's three major cast formations. Wow, very impressive and sort of mystical too. I wasn't aware that Kitakyushu had such interesting natural attractions to visit. Kitakyushu is also home to the world's longest swing, certified by the Guinness World Records, 
You can see it in Hibikinada Green Park, where 100 swings are installed in a 163 meter circle. Oh, this is an excellent place for a group photo with all conference participants. I heard that Kitakyushu is also actively working on the SDGs. Yes, we are aiming to become a green growth city that contributes to improving the global environment and sets a new standard under the concept of the SDGs Future City. As a future city of the SDGs, our goal is to make Kitakyushu a hub for next generation energy, such as wind and solar power, with the aim of introducing it to the world as the Kitakyushu model. I hope it succeeds as a standard that the rest of the world can follow. Kitakyushu has many more sites to explore. Can we take a look around a little? With pleasure. Let's take a stroll around Mojiko, a famous district known as Mojiko Retro. Mojiko Station was established more than 100 years ago as the starting point of Kyushu's railway system and has since worked hand in hand with Japan's development. The red brick main building next to the Kyushu Railway History Museum was built in 1891 as the former headquarters of the Kyushu Railway. You don't have to be a railway fan to enjoy this facility. Towering in front of you is the Kanmon Bridge, which was built in 1973 as a transportation hub connecting Kitakyushu and Japan's main island Honshu, which was separated by water. You can walk across the underwater tunnel underneath it. Wow, it literally was a bridge that connected Japan. This strait is one of the narrowest in the world and the currents are fast, so you can see some truly powerful scenery from the ferry. This is one pre post program very unique to Kitakyushu. And from the 622 meter high Mount Sarakura, you can enjoy a fantastic panoramic view of the nighttime cityscape of Kitakyushu. It's a $10 billion view, isn't it? This is one of Japan's top three night city views. I can totally see why. This place offers a truly stunning gaze of the city lights. Well, I imagine you are already quite hungry. You read my mind and maybe heard my stomach. Let's go to Tanga Market. Eating at a market sounds exciting. It certainly is. The market is often called the kitchen of Kitakyushu. It has over 100 shops selling all kinds of food lined up along a 180 meter long arcade. Among them is the restaurant Daigakudo where you can make an original rice bowl. Wow, you can choose your own original toppings. Exactly. Okay, my plate is packed with so many different flavors, but this is so much fun. I would love to visit with my fellow conference participants. So what did you think? I'm positive you'll have a successful conference here in Kitakyushu. I'm sure we will. The architecture of the former Moji Mitsui Club is beautiful. And you know what? I'd like to see just a little bit more of it. Oh, you wanted to see more? Be my guest. 